dare you? But at number 24 in the list of ITV's 50 greatest shows is Jimmy McGovern's powerful drama documentary recounting the terrible events at Hillsborough. From Anfield, four tickets. Yes. <laughs> in one of the hardest hitting programmes in ITV's history, Hillsborough set out to separate the facts from the myths surrounding the 1989 stadium disaster, in which 96 Liverpool fans lost their lives. Hillsborough was a really important and brave piece of television and Jimmy McGovern's drama really did bring to light the human cost of that disaster. Well, don't worry, I'm not going to come your style, go on. The film dramatised the stories of real-life fans like Trevor Hicks, who lost both his daughters in the tragedy. Lots of people thought they knew what had happened there, and they, you know, there, there was still an element of blame as far as the Liverpool fans went. But certain people decided they weren't victims; they were perpetrators. He's packed in there. He's empty out here. Will you do something? Do something! My daughters are in that bed. Shut your prattle. The predominantly right-wing press of the time, in collusion with the police, had created a lie. So we told the truth. Jimmy McGovern, wonderful writer, who was impassioned by the whole business of Hillsborough. He needs an ambulance! And he wanted to do something, but what does he do? He goes into the tradition of the docudrama. What are you doing here? We've got to shout, oxygen and wire cutters. I don't think you're needed, mate. He's verifying everything, and yet he's writing it as drama. As I understand it, everything that was said by the policeman is in public record. What's going on? Violence for the gate. Before accepting the role, I went over to Yorkshire to speak to Trevor Hicks to see if he was completely behind the project and for him to talk me through minute by minute through the day. Get this body out! Get it out! Come on, get me When I look at it, it's unbelievably true. People say, oh, well, it was over-dramatised. Well, it wasn't. It, it's actually under-dramatised. Nothing can touch what happened on the day. I can speak from personal experience. When it came down to it, we had to be very brutal and choose basically three families to focus on. People who Jimmy felt that he could dramatise, who had to accept that the dramatisation might not always put them in a good light. Jenny, open the bloody door. You're not getting them. Open. You're not getting them. When it became clear that we were going to be one of the three families that would be used to tell the story, that was when I thought, well, hang on, we're going into that territory where do we really want to go? Routine. I can still smell my daughters on these sheets. These sheets. We're not washing that away. Jenny, there was a time when I'd eat off your floor, but now I wouldn't trust your bloody table and that. Jenny and I are very comfortable with it. We're not pleased with some of it. This is no because good. I can't go. Because, you know, it showed us in less than we'd like to be seen, but that's as it was. It's been seen around the world and lots of people who dismissed Hillsborough as, you know, football hooligans, which it clearly wasn't, then, you know, it showed them as normal human beings who went to a football game and didn't come home. <laughs>